I was always with you in the water. I gasped for breath beneath the tension, like insects crawling out of your skin, collapsing with the trees, groaning in your loneliness, harmonizing with the song a seed sings, subjected to futility, sinking. A descent unto the dead hour, in the earliest morning before dawn, where the quiet is deepest, and the sheets are soft as the moon's pale beam, or skin, blanking, peeking through the window, lighting up the shell of a reflection in a mirror dimly lit but clear enough to see a devil demanding nudity and shame, breathing, drowning. Call them one and the same. In the in-between, book ended by a child's first cry and farewell, you discovered yourself stillborn, shadows in accord with the spirit of the powers of hell, and quaking as sun hardens clay while others' ice caps melt, flailing in the gap between the rising tide and the ceiling. And it is a ceiling. Death. For now, God is a bottom feeder and you are saved by a scavenger donning a crown. Or how else would you describe life breathed back into carry-on, a skeleton in a skin graft? I've worn flesh like that too. This whole world is a valley of dry bones. Inhale pollution, exhale mutiny. A heartbeat does not mean the same thing as being alive. You lived your lives for passion, for whatever you thought was right, for every desire of the flesh and the mind and conquest and pride and idolize the archon of the air of the time. I was always with you in the wilderness. Wandering embalmed and wrapped in shroud, and you were dead and deaf to my voice until I gave you the ears to hear me whisper your name aloud. My love, open your eyes. It's dark in the depths of that heart where death subjected you to his lies, but you are and always have been mine, and I have paid the bride price to give you the breath of life and unite the world in the grace of my kindness through these scars. Come alive. There is no grave to fear nor naked nakedness nor shame to hide. Come alive. There is no sin nor separation left. There is no great divide. Come alive. While once you were dead inside, I have seated you at my side. Come alive. There is a death that leads to death, and there is a death that leads to life. Resurrect. Come alive.